<laughs> What's going on guys? This is Gene Jensen. And uh, real quick, I want to show you guys my new kayak trailer. All right, so this is an on the water innovations turning double with a few modifications for me but basically what i did is i got on facebook went to on the water innovations contacted denny romero the owner and the guy who builds these things and uh and and told him i said denny i you make great great trailers i want the last trailer that i will ever own <laughs> And so uh, we got together and we kind of put this whole layout together, but I wanted to walk through the, the features and stuff of this trailer. Like I said, it is the turning double. Um, and so we start with the beginning. You see, I've got a giant DC box up here in the front. Um, and because of this giant box, we couldn't go with the normal length tongue on the trailer. So I've got an extension and it's a fold away trailer. Really, really nice. I, what I love about fold away tongues is that when I'm parked in like a parking lot or I have to store it somewhere, I can take that tongue, fold it all the way back, wrap the chain around the trailer and lock the chain to the trailer. And it makes it that much more difficult for somebody to pick it up with their truck and drive off with it. I do other stuff too, but that's one of the big things. Now, the DZ box. This is the biggest toolbox DZ makes. And I got it this big so I can put the, uh, the, the motor guide trolling motors, the XI3s in here when I'm traveling, it stores paddles and it stores, you know, measuring boards and everything that I need to throw onto my kayak when I get to the boat ramp. All right. So moving on back, um, a couple of things that I really like about this trailer and what I had put on there is I've got the side step down at the bottom and then, uh, that helps when you're loading, uh, the third and the fourth kayak onto this trailer. And what you do is it comes with these two, these crossbars. There's actually two of them. I just grabbed one of them out of the barn. And they simply drop down and bolt in right up top, right up here. You pull these caps out. You move that cap over to here. Plug it in right there and then drop them in. And you can, uh, you can tie two more kayaks onto the top of, a, a top of your trailer, which is great for me because I have a family that loves to kayak fish. So uh, moving on down, you can see how nice and sturdy this, uh, this box is mounted but the toy lock this is a 15 foot cable lock so what this does is i'll run it through the the either the scupper holes or i'll run it through the the dry pod holes through both my kayaks bring it back right down slide it through that hole and then put a lock in it and it's just a it's a cable lock that's always there it retracts it stays out of the way when you don't need it and that kind of stuff all right, so the next thing I really liked that I had Denny put on was the rigging lights. You know, early in the morning, you uh, it's dark, you want to get your kayak rigged up, and you don't ever have enough light except for maybe my headlamp and stuff like that. I've got that yak that uh, Yolo Tech light that I'll put up, put up, and it'll shine down. But this is simple. You turn, you turn your parking lights on, and you hit this button right here, and you get two bright LED lights on both sides, so you can rig either one of the kayaks. It also turns a light on that's inside the box so you can see inside the box. Simple, easy, waterproof button, turns on and off. I love it. All right, if you look down here, I've got built-in retractable straps. And I'm gonna take one off real quick, see how easy it is. Just push that red button in, pull the slack out. Now, Jordan reaches over and I can't do that because my belly gets in the way so I go under the kayak. Pop that loose. Now watch this cool thing. So you pull this out, you hold your strap right there, hit that red button in, and it sucks that strap right on in. Now look, we changed out the hooks to big carabiners. And the reason we did that is so if it does get a little bit of slack in travel, the carabiner doesn't fall off and it holds your kayak on. The hooks will fall off. And so we switched them up to, to large carabiner stainless steel ones, which are really good. And it's just simple to, to strap it down. The biggest thing to understand about, uh, about cinch strap or ratchet straps is you only cinch them down a little bit. So I'll hook this up real quick. Okay, so I bring it to tight and it's just one, two, two or three clicks. One, two, three, done and it's tight enough. You don't want to cinch them down, down too tight because if you do, you, you flex and bend your kayak in ways you don't really want to do. All right, so another one of the deals is, I'm gonna talk about the bunk boards in a second. 
But if you look how easy it is to slide this kayak on and off the bunk boards. And reason is, is there's, it, all it is is a, is a powder coating on top of it. He's talked about putting different things on it. He may do that in the future, but right now I really like it slick like this because it makes loading and unloading super, super easy. I literally just have a rope tied onto right here, this rope right here, push it out into the water and pull it up to the side of the boat ramp, leave it there, go park my trailer. Same thing, back the trailer, empty trailer down to load it, push the kayak out into the water, holding onto the rope. And then let me show you something about these bunk boards. I'm gonna take this kayak off real quick without damaging anything in the back. Here we go. And look at the back of the bunks. See how it's angled out? It's basically a catch. It catches the nose of your kayak right here and allows you to pull your, makes it easier to pull it out of the water and get it up into, onto the bunk. Super easy, simple technique, I absolutely love it. Now with the bunks being so slick, it creates one problem. If it's not tied down when you go down the ramp, it can slide off the trailer and onto the ramp and slide off when you don't want it to. Simple fix. Denny welded an, a, a, a tie down right here and I grabbed an S beaner from, uh, from Night Eyes, threw a little loop or a little double loop on it. And this goes through the, uh, the front handle and clips back down before I back the trailer down the, down the boat ramp. And that holds it on. So before I, so before I launch my kayak, I unhook that and then I can shove it off and it just keeps it from sliding off. Simple, easy fix, but that's a perfect spot for a tie down when you have that issue. Next thing is the spare tire. Look where the spare tire is mounted. Totally out of the way. Uh, it doesn't interfere with any kind of clearance like it would, it would if it was on the tongue or anything like that. So that's a perfect spot for that. And then last but not least is the rod tubes. Now the rod tubes are eight inch PVC. They're huge. I want you to look inside of it. I've got a bunch of rods inside of it with room to spare. Look at that. So I think it holds like 35 rods total without reels and I can probably fit six rods in there with reels if I stagger them and that kind of stuff. So it's perfect. If you look inside right here, I've put some eighth inch adhesive backed um, neoprene down here just as a padding for when I do put rods with reels in it, it doesn't scuff up the reels. It, it keeps it, the reels will bounce up and down, but they won't scuff on the side of the, uh, the side of the PVC like they would if you didn't have that there. So that's a little addition. Um, I've got something else I want to do to this, this rod, uh, this um, rod locker or rod tube, but I'm not going to mention what it is right now until I do it and make a video of it. And it may be next year by the time I get around to doing it, but I'm, I'm excited about modifying this this for my needs anyway. LED lights, it's, it's got everything that you want for a high-end, really good quality trailer. Um, I love it. It's, uh, it's one that is, I've already driven thousands of miles with it. it. It tows well. It doesn't destroy my gas mileage, especially with the box up front because my, my truck cuts the wind before it gets to the box. That was one thing I was concerned about. I've had previous kayak trailers where it literally, it was the, the, the gas mileage was horrible because it caught so much wind. So this one is designed not to do that. Everything is set down real low. I love it. It's an on, on the waters innovations turning double with a few customizations for me. And I'll leave all the links and everything down in the description. I like to thank Denny for making it for me. Oh, and by the way, I did pay for this trailer. This is not a sponsorship deal but I'm going to give him some love because I love the trailer. So like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.